Malioboro is the one the place in Jogja. Malioboro is a tourism center that is targeted by many tourists. In addition to its beautiful place, Malioboro also has a shopping centers ranging from souvenirs, batik, toys, food, and many more. However, there are also to imitate the concept of Malioboro, but the difference is the location and the width of the road. Yes, it's Kayutangan Malang. Has recently been overhauled and made one of the tourist destinations in Malang. Kayutangan has the same concept as Malioboro, which is a place where Pedestrians see the scenery and can enjoy the shopping center. Kayutangan is also no less large than Malioboro. Kayutangan has a significant difference, than clearly visible from the width of the main road. And Kayutangan starts from GBIB Emmanuel Church to Avia shopping store. Kayutangan is one of the locations where there are many historical buildings built during the colonial period. One of them is the Kayutangan Sacred Heart of Jesus Church. The oldest Catholic church in Malang City was founded in 1905 as a city marker with its two towers that rise as high as 33 meters. It's Accidents on Kayutangan Street and now Basuki Rahmat Street make it also called Kayutangan Church. The Malang City government designed the Sacred Heart of Jesus Church as one of the cultural heritage objects amongst 32 other objects. Its existence has an important role in the development of Malang City. The art of the church building shows the characteristic of mid 19th century buildings with its tall building structure in the Gothic architectural architectural style because the designer was a Dutch architect who called Marius G. Pulsewit. Cyril Anwar statue The statue stands also a form of immortality when Malang commemorates Cyril's Anwar's day. Next one is of the legendary shops that has been favored by many people since ancient times. The own shops sell ice cream, bread, and much more. The price is not cheap but has expensive taste that make the own shops even more popular. Un Shops started as a bakery that was first opened by Lim Kin Nyo in Yogyakarta 1912. The term Un was taken from her husband's name, Un Chok Hok. In 1922, it developed to, into ice cream cafe and restaurant. After being famous and many customers liked the menu, Un Shops opened at in several cities such as Semarang, Jakarta, and Malang. However, along with times, Toko Un in Yogyakarta and Jakarta eventually closed, leaving only the stores in Malang and Semarang still open.
In the next development, Un Shops in Malang was sold to businessman named Denny Mukiato. This is Kayu Tangan looks like during the day. It's not very crowded because a lot of teenagers come after college and school in the afternoon. Many teenagers spend their time hanging out and chatting while enjoying food around Kayu Tangan. Besides food in Kayu Tangan, it is also the same as Malioboro, both of which sell pati. One of them is the Wira Hadi Pati Shop. This shop is the one of the large shops and sells many variations of pati. In addition to historic and unique buildings, Kayu Tangan is also famous for its painting on the walls. But there are also buildings that have a mix Asian buildings, unique paintings, and Asian goods. One of them is the Kopi Luncheng Shop. This shop sells traditional coffee that has a distinctive way of drinking and taste of the drink. Besides, this shop also has a lot of Asian and historical items. The Kayu Tangan has recently undergone a major but still engineering skill change. This change can make a new historic for the city of Malang. This one link engineering applies along Kayu Tangan and this engineering has an impact on the roads around Kayu Tangan. This change makes the road in Kayu Tangan look very wide and can reduce Congestions. There is also a heritage village in Kayu Tangan. Inside this village, there are various decorative paintings, the historic of Kayu Tangan and many more. Next to Kayu Tangan, there are still many lodging places and banks such as Korean Wish, Maybank, BCA, and so on. A part of Wirahati shop, there's also Makaria shops that sells the same pet batik, and there are many more shops that sell batik so that in Kayu Tangan there are many variations batik to choose from. In addition, there is also a state electricity company or better known as PLN which is also located in Kayu Tangan. Initially, 
Toko Avia was one of the shop's house in Malang, a shopping center complex built by the Dutch is in this conformant in 1930. The shopping center was named Lux. Inside the shopping center complex, many shops used to be occupied, such as Toko Semarang, which later turned into Toko Avia. The building of Toko Avia has not undergone any changes in its visit. It is still the same as during the colonial period, even if there is renovation, it is limited to the interior without changing the original form. As an ancient building, Toko Avia has long history in Malang and is one of the city's landmarks. And finally, there is a historic hotel in Kayutangan, namely the Trio Indah 2 Hotel. And at certain times, there are street performances in the form of musical arts that perform old worldly songs. That's the explanation of Kayutanan. Thank you for watching. Lord Jesus bless you. Bye.